I think that we are spending too much time obsessing over negative things. And this, without a single doubt, includes no fab as well. Think about it and be 100% honest with yourself. Why are you watching no fab videos? Why are you still watching them would be a better question because you probably know it by now, right? You know why watching too much porn is bad for you. You know that it can numb your dopamine system. You know about the, the benefits of NoFab. So what exactly are we doing? Why am I making these videos all the time? Why are you watching these videos all the time? Why are you watching me and you are also watching other NoFab YouTubers saying roughly the same things that I am saying? Why are you constantly viewing the same thing over and over again, even though you know what we are saying? Most of the videos that you are watching, as soon as you see that video, before you click on that video, you probably know roughly what that video is going to say, right? But then you click it anyway as like sort of, a, sort of an affirmation to yourself or something. Why? And now you're probably going to say, well, Rob, this is why. It motivates me because I'm still struggling with this habit. And whenever I watch one of these videos, it motivates me to stay strong and keep going. It helps me. <clears throat> but I honestly think that this is where you are wrong. Yes, it motivates you initially. Initially, when you learn about why something is bad, you get that, that spark of motivation where you're like, hey, so I guess this thing is bad. I guess I'm gonna have to quit doing it, right? You might even feel like a little, little bit of hype to quit doing it because you wanna feel less bad. But it's really nothing but negative motivation. It motivates you in, a, which, which means, negative motivation means it is a type of motivation where you do something because it's, you no, you don't do something because it's bad for you. Smoking, perfect example. You learn that smoking gives you lung cancer. You think, well, lung cancer is bad. I'm quitting smoking. Porn works the same way. You learn that porn is bad for you, or at least that watching too much porn is bad for you. And so you think, well, guess I'm going to have to quit it. That is negative motivation. It works initially. Initially, it is good to learn the truth and to realize that you might want to quit this thing. But over time, once you know that initial truth, it turns into nothing but negativity because it is negativity. It's literally negativity. It, it's negative motivation. It is nothing but obsessing over why something is bad for you. And most people that are watching NoFab videos, they are still struggling with this bad habit. They are still watching porn. They still relapse all the time. And so you haven't fixed the bad habit but the only thing that has changed is that you are now constantly reminding yourself of how bad it is. And so really the only thing that has changed is that you are feeling worse about it. You're doing the same thing as before, but now you're just feeling worse about it. And in a lot of cases, the fact that you are feeling worse about it actually makes it even worse because then you're experiencing more negative emotion and negative emotion is actually one of the things that drives you towards bad behaviors and so you're more likely to relapse again and it puts you into this vicious circle where everything becomes worse. It actually becomes worse in a lot of cases by obsessing over the negative things. It's very simple if you think about it like this. Too much negativity is never a good thing, even if that negativity is the truth. Because we, we try to tell ourselves, yeah, it's negativity, but it's the truth. It's important to realize the truth. Yes, but we know the truth. We already know the truth. And so there's no point in continuing to obsess over the truth because that's just negativity and too much negativity is going to affect us mentally in a negative way. Negative, negativity affects us, affect, I'm going to have to say that again. Negativity affects us in a negative way. Is that fucking simple? Even if that negativity is the truth, it is negativity. And I honestly think that doing something else that isn't NoFab, but something that is more positive is going to help you out a lot more than watching more NoFab videos. 
If for example, you start watching a fitness video and this fitness video inspires you to, to actually do something, to actually get away from your computer and actually go to the gym and actually do something constructive in your life and start improving yourself, then this without a doubt is going to benefit you so much more than continuing to endlessly watch NoFab videos. Not too long ago, I watched a cooking video. It was about Korean tteokbokki, which is like a rice cake stick. You cook this thing in like a peppery broth. I've known about this before, and then I was watching Squid Game, like everyone else was. And in Squid Game, they were eating tteokbokki. I told my girlfriend, hey, it's that tteokbokki thing that I've been wanting to try for a while now. Next day, guess what happened? YouTube, I opened up YouTube, and instantly there was a tteokbokki recipe. It's like, they knew, they, they knew, right? We probably had like the phone lying in, in the room where we were watching Squid Game and then the Illuminati lizard people were listening through the microphone and they were like, these people are interested in tteokbokki. There's money to be made. So the next day, YouTube was like, hey, I've heard you're interested in tteokbokki. Why don't you watch this video, watch an ad and then engage in a bunch of consumerism which worked. I was like, yep, I'm, I'm perfectly willing to accept that deal. Didn't watch the ad though, because I had an ad blocker. Wouldn't recommend it, watch my videos without an ad blocker. But um, back to the point, I watched that video and I got hyped. So what did I do? I called up my mom. I called up my mom and I said, hey, we were uh, planning to do a family dinner anyway. You know what? We are going to make talk Bucky. So my mom searched up some recipes as well. I think uh, we made Korean fried chicken as well. And she came with like a Japanese omelet. I believe it was called Okonomiyaki or something. So I picked her up in the car and we went to this Asian supermarket, this big exotic Asian supermarket. And we had like a little adventure, you know, cause we were searching for these exotic products that we've never seen before. And we were seeing all this cool stuff and we bought a bunch of other things. We went to my parents' home, me and my mom, we spent the afternoon cooking together. We were cooking a bunch of Asian dishes. And then that night we had a family dinner with me, my parents, my girlfriend and my brother and his girlfriend. We, we had a family dinner. And this is really what life is all about. And why did this happen? Think about it. Did this happen because I watched a certain amount of NoFab videos that eventually took me to the point of motivation where I was like, yes, now I can quit porn and now I can start doing other things. No, of course not. It happened because I watched a fucking cooking video and I was like, hey, that's what I want to do. And you have to realize that the more of these things that you have going on, the more family dinners that you have going on, the more times that you go to the gym, the more time that you spend with friends or whatever, the less that you are actually sitting in front of your computer, being sad, trying to cheer yourself up with self-improvement videos. You don't need to watch self-improvement videos to cheer yourself up if you actually do constructive things in your life in the first place. And watching self-improvement videos isn't exactly the best way to start doing constructive things. It's often just the, the other things itself. It's watching an actual fitness video that inspires you to go to the gym. It's not a video where, where someone is like, hey, you know, being fat is bad for you. Uh, stop being fat. And then you keep watching videos that tell you that being fat is bad for you over and over and over again every day for the coming year. No, that's not the thing that inspires you to go to the gym. The thing that inspires you to go to the gym is actually watching a video of a muscular guy being all good looking, all muscular and all happy. And then you're like, hey, I also want to get that. That's what makes you go to the gym. The thing that makes you go on an adventure with your mom to cook exotic food is watching a video that happens to be about exotic food. And so what I'm trying to say with this video is that I think we should stop obsessing over negative things. Now, yes, the title of this video is semi clickbaitish. I am not 
completely going to stop talking about NoFap. I still think that this is important, but it's, it's important to spread the truth. There are so many people that could still benefit from hearing this. And actually there's a certain irony in this, what I'm telling you right now, because like next week and the week after that, I have a bunch of videos planned where I do highlight the negative aspects of watching too much porn. So some of you guys are probably going to watch those videos and be like, ha, Rob is a hypocrite. And I'm, I'm definitely not trying to say that I think that like other YouTubers that focus entirely on NoFap and all the negative stuff, that they are doing a bad thing. No, I think these people are doing a good thing. Again, it is important to spread this message. It is good. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that I personally, I'm going to try to obsess about it less. I've been wanting to talk about other topics for a long time. I've always had that plan for this channel and I think it's time to focus on that a lot more. I think it's time to focus on other topics and to focus on more positive things. And perhaps the most important thing is you, right? Because I can always bring up the excuse and say, well, I'm a YouTuber, you know, I'm trying to get views, I'm trying to make a living. But you as a viewer, definitely stop obsessing over negative stuff. Definitely stop watching NoFap videos all the time. Watch other things. Watch fitness videos, watch cooking videos, or do something else than these examples, because these are just examples. Read a fiction book, a fiction book that, that hypes you up, but just do something that is constructive. Don't, don't replace this one bad habit with another bad habit think about it critically, but do things that are constructive to your life, things that hype you, things that make you feel like, oh yeah, you know, I, that, that's, that's cool. That's something that I want to work towards. That is something that I want to do. That is something that I want to achieve. Something that inspires you in a positive way. Instead of constantly consuming the content that just emphasizes the negativity. Speaking of which, I have some videos on my channel already that are not about NoFab, but that are sort of talking about something else in a more positive way. So I'll put one up here. Check it out.